Okay, I just finished building this Tower of Canton LED model. I got it for about $15 on eBay. And the only problem with the kit is it didn't include any kind of instructions. You can see there's a whole sequence that it goes through and it ticks a few minutes and then it repeats itself. The remote that comes with it doesn't do much actually. You can turn it on, you, you can turn it off. This is off. Right? And then you can press test and run the test. And uh, if you want it in one color, the only color that is available is the green or this is sort of like a bluish light or red. So there are no other colors. If you find it too distracting for all the lights that are moving, chasing each other, you can turn it to the red LEDs. Uh, every single one of the LEDs that I install work, although you can notice, I don't know if you can see, there's a slight flicker. I don't know if that's uh, the fault of the LEDs or my soldering or what, I don't know. Uh, I will never find out. But basically almost every single LED works and there are extras available in case you made some mistakes. So after I finish the project I still have like uh, at least 30 or 40 LEDs left over. You, you have to spend at least like five hours if you want to do it all at once but I don't recommend that. And on the circuit board uh, you have all the locations of the resistors, capacitors and um, and all the different tiers of, of uh, where you connect the wires to so you can figure it out. It's, it's not all that complicated and when it is done and when you look at it and it works and there's a, there's a bit of satisfaction in that. Okay, let's see how we uh, how we or how I built this. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the circuit board and basically the components are pretty clearly laid out uh, printed out you can see R1, R2 on the left side on the top part those are the resistors so you just plug them in they're all 490 ohm resistors except one R13 is 10k so uh, they're all in the back and uh, just plug them in and solder them and you have four LEDs on on the corner uh, the polarities are, are labeled and you have the mini USB and that's the toughest one to to solder because uh, the contact points are, points are uh, quite a bit small so you might have trouble with that and then uh, you have the main chip in the middle there. I soldered the chip, the IC directly onto the board because the the chip holder uh, was uh, the pin, some of the pins came out. So I found it easy just to solder the whole thing onto the board. And uh, you have a couple of switches and capacitors and yeah and uh, a few of the parts are, are missing because uh, they're not included in this cheaper version of it maybe like a microphone that is next to the USB port and then you can also see T1, T2 
T3 all the way up to T, T9. Those are the different tiers or stories of the tower. And this is where you hook up for each layer. You hook up the positive wire to that tier. And then uh, the end of that will be soldered to say tier 1 and the second story will be soldered to tier 2 so forth and so on if you look carefully you can also see like uh, some square holes in a circle and those are actually the soldering points for the vertical or the negative uh, uh, side of the LEDs uh, that make up the different tiers so you can see here in the bottom you can see the LED marking so that's actually where the uh, points where you connect the negative side the positive side of the LED is the horizontal tier and they're connected um, to the circuit board through wires and they on the on the other side you can see tier one to nine so that is how they are connected okay so this is how this jig works you insert the LED onto the holes here you can see there's a pattern and my kit has nine stories or nine tiers so for the first story would be the LED would be inserted here here from here 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 and all around right that would be the first story the second story would be the second hole here here, 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 here. And then the third story would be this one, so forth and so on. And this would be the sixth story, right? The sixth hole. This one here, 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 here. Right? So after the sixth story, it, it goes back. The seventh story would be here, the eighth story would be here, and the ninth story. So I am like this would be seven, and I have one made already, so this would be the eighth, and I have to build the last one, which is the ninth story. The ninth story should be. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it would be this hole here. Right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Right? So I would insert it like this. And then you would bend another LED. The LED is bent with the positive, the longer leg one, towards you. It makes like a 90 degree. And then it's inserted into the next third, next one over. Actually, you should put the positive underneath the previous one because you have to solder it together. So this is the tricky part. You have to put it under underneath here and with the camera in the way makes it more difficult okay so it would look like this right you would have to bend the previous positive wire so that it touches this positive wire this is the second LED right so it touches it 
and then you continue on until you fill the the circle right so this next one you have to again put it underneath right and it goes the head of the LED goes into the third hole here like that uh, I bent the negative by mistake so it looks like this right again you have to make sure your positive touches the positive of the ones that you in inserted but don't put it too close to where the head of the LED is or when you saw them you might um, make it too hot and, and damage that LED so this is how you do it and you go around until you fill the hole right so this would be the ninth story so you go around and, and you uh, connect all of the LEDs and you solder them and then this will get to be put on top and then the negative will be soldered to the negative of the lower tier so this is negative you solder it here and the next over you solder until you solder the whole thing and then you would have the eight, eight story like this okay then you have the eight story like this and then the ninth story is in the work and then there's a the last tier is the spire and the, these are the holes for making the spire so that's how it goes and then the negative the negative is all connected to the circuit board and how do you connect the positive you have to use a piece of wire that is provided so the wire now I have to find it okay is right here so you cut a strip of wire you will notice there's a wire here there's a wire here that goes from the positive to the circuit board In circuit board you have T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 so that wire for the first floor goes to T1, T1, T and then the second one you have to connect the wire a longer piece of wire to the second tier the positive this is the positive so forth and so on all the way up to top uh, the problem with connecting the wire is once you build up all the tiers it's difficult to insert the wire so if you want to you can measure out and pre-cut the wire and solder them ahead of time you can do that that might make it easier than in trying to push the wire from here onto the slot here so it passes through and and you can solder on the bottom you can do it that way so yeah uh, after you finish soldering each layer test it out to see if all the LEDs are working comes with a remote control this is a mini USB on a circuit board on a circuit board you have uh, an input for an external power source so right isn't that cool 
to control the LED. I think they're 490 ohms. This one is probably a 10K. Of all the resistors in, included, this is the only separate one. So I figure this is probably uh, there for a reason. So I put the resistor here in this slot here. Okay. The rest of just to uh, limit the current of the LED. So that's the only thing that I wasn't sure. And then you have the receiving uh, IR receiver. Okay, let's put in another LED. You have the long leg, the positive. Just bend it downwards and you have the negative. Then I'm going to insert it in I put it under the positive leg of the previous LED. And then I'm going to find the third hole over here and then insert the head of the LED into that press it down and then this is the wire from the previous LED the positive and I'm just gonna press it down like that like so so it is about a little less than maybe like a quarter inch from the LED so when I solder it the heat won't damage the LED so you continue that way until you form the circle and of course the negative is over here Those. so this is how you go about it check later to make sure that all the connections are solid. Try not to overheat the LEDs because um, they, they, they can malfunction. With the whole tower that I have, I have one LED that is, has a slight flicker. So I might have overheated on that one. But it's still working, so I'm not going to change it. This is a pain in the neck. So you have a concentric, you have like a ring of LEDs and you have to snip off these extra wires here this is the positive just snip them off so okay so i finished the first layer and i'm testing it seems to be working